Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to recreate the Instagram effect entitled 1977. As you can see, this gives your photo a kind of bright green tint with a washed out, dusty look. So let me just delete these layers and recreate it for you to follow along. So the first thing you want to do is go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Curves. Here we're going to brighten up the shadows. So take your bottom left point here and bring it up to the first line. As you can see there's four lines, so bring it up to the first bottom most line. And I'll make another point right there. So you have one point on each end of that box, if you can see. And all this does is bring your shadows up and make them more of a bright gray. So the next step you want to do is go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Solid Color. And for the color code, you want to use E3FFD7. This is a pretty bright but pale green. And what you want to do here is set the blending mode to darken. As you can see, that overtakes the highlights and makes them more of a pale green, which is the basis of this effect. Next, I'm going to open up a stock image, a stock texture, I should say, that I found on DeviantArt.com. I'm going to drag it on my picture. Um, I'll add a link to this one, and you can use it on your own, or you can find your own texture on any stock image website. So as you can see, my picture was a little bit bigger than my texture, so I'm going to hit Command T and scale it up a little bit. I can afford to do this without losing too much quality, but you want to find a texture that is big enough for your picture. So set the blending mode of your texture to screen and the opacity of about 50%. Now for our final touch, we're going to add a border. So I'm going to hit Shift Command N to create a new layer, or you can go to Layer, New Layer. I'm going to grab my rectangular marquee tool and highlight my entire image. Next, I'm going to right click on my selection and choose Stroke. For the color, we're going to use a solid white. And for the width, we're going to use about 30 pixels inside, which is a pretty heavy white stroke. So you can deselect that once you're done. And for a really final detail, you want to right click your stroke layer and select Blending Options and turn on Pattern Overlay. For the pattern drop down box, select artist surfaces and click this one here called canvas. Set the opacity to 10% and it gives your border just a touch of texture to go along with the scratch texture you applied and complete your whole image. So there's your final effect. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>